Hi, I'm Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to show you how to weatherproof your camera's cable. In this case, I have a Ethernet cable for the security camera, and of course, this is going to connect to the camera like this, and that will give your camera power. Now, this part is not weatherproof. Uh, the rest of the camera is, but if any water gets into this cable, you're going to blow your camera, and it's not going to be a fun time. However, each camera comes with this weatherproof kit. So this is uh, basically four pieces that you can use to weatherproof the camera. So let me show you how that works. So inside the kit, we have actually four main pieces. This is for the RJ45 and we have a fifth piece which is for the DC connector on your camera. You can just put that cap in like this, make sure no water gets in there. And now these four pieces are gonna be used to really provide the waterproof seal on your cable. So first thing you wanna do is take the O-ring here and slide that over your camera's connector like this, okay? Next thing you wanna do is grab the end of this bolt piece here and slide that over your RJ45 cable like so. Next, you wanna take this cylindrical seal here. So there should be a slit on this. If there's not a slit, you can cut it yourself. So you grab the cylindrical seal and you're gonna wrap that around the cable like so. Okay, so first we have the lid for the bolt, then we have this rubber seal. Lastly, you wanna get this bolt here and it's going to have the sort of pointy end facing towards the cable so go ahead and slide that on like this and now this piece is going to slide into this other piece here like that so you should have something that looks like this then you're going to take the lid for this bolt slide it on top and turn it nicely so that it closes all the way So as you can see that this piece basically grabs around the seal and it makes a pretty nice seal against water. So we're gonna slide this all the way up to the end of our connector. And then another thing that we're gonna do to make sure that no water gets into the connectors is we're gonna take some dielectric grease and we're gonna add it onto the connection of the ethernet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with my dielectric grease is I'm gonna add a little bit onto the camera's connector and I'm gonna add a little bit onto the RJ45 connector and the camera's still gonna work after this, but this is just gonna be an extra protection in case any moisture or water tries to get into the camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it with a Q-tip. You can use anything to apply this. You can even use your finger. In this case, I don't wanna get my fingers all greasy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, make sure that it really covers the conductor of the RJ45. And I'm gonna add some more onto the camera's conductor here, like this. Just a little bit, not too much. So now when we make this connection, the camera comes on as you can see, and you want to finally finish by closing this all the way. And it should fit in like this, and then you're gonna turn it to lock it in. And this is your finished connection. This connection is completely water resistant, and I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna take some water, and I'm gonna spray it onto here. So you can see the camera is still working fine. No problem at all. And in case you're not satisfied that this is really waterproof, I wanna show you that it is waterproof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and dip it into the water itself 
and this should show you that the camera is still working. So isn't that pretty amazing? One thing I forgot to talk about was the DC power connector. So if you're not using the power connector because you're using PoE to power the camera, it doesn't matter if that connector gets wet or not. You can even submerge it fully underwater and it's not going to affect the performance of the camera. However, if you're not using PoE, which means you are using the 12 volt connector to power the camera, you're going to want to make sure that you weatherproof it. So in this case, we added some dielectric grease into the barrel connector, as well as wrapped it two times using electrical tape. This will make sure that that connector is weatherproof and after all, it's better safe than sorry. You don't want to burn out your camera. So that concludes this video on how to weatherproof your security camera's cable. Make sure that you take your time when you're installing your security camera. I know this is a bit of extra steps than some people might be used to, but if you do it right the first time, you will never have to replace your camera and it should last for many years. So hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.